Okay, we move on in the 2021 playoff series previews. This one is between the Vegas Golden Knights, the second seed, and the Minnesota Wild, the third seed. Now, this series, I think some people may say, oh, it's pretty lopsided. I'm not too sure if it is, to be entirely honest with you. So first off, if you're new to the channel and you would like to consider subscribing, I promise I don't do that every video, uh, please make sure to do so as we are only seven away from 800. I think that maybe if we can make a solid, decent run with this video, we could very well make it there by Sunday. Um, I mean, anything's possible. So we could absolutely can make it today. Who knows? So if you guys could go down below and subscribe, leave a like. And uh, comment how wrong I am. Um, <laughs> um, I would definitely appreciate that, as it does help my does help my platform a lot. And also go follow my other social medias down below. And anyways, I always keep this nice and short. Let's get into the preview. So, this is the first time in NHL history that the Flyers Flyers what that I don't know why that came to mind that the Minnesota Wild and the Vegas Golden Knights have faced in the playoffs in NHL history. Of course, we know this because. The only teams that Vegas has faced is L.A., San Jose. You, you know, they've only been in the league for three years or four years at this point. So we know who they faced, and it's pretty obvious to tell that these two teams have faced each other for the first time. Uh, Kirill Kaprizov, the almighty rookie, leads with 51 points and uh, 27 goals um, for the Minnesota Wild. He's been a great rookie all season. Some people are arguing that Jason Robertson should win the Calder. I think... That although Robertson wouldn't be a bad pick, he'll definitely be in the final three. Um, or final two, however you want to word it. Um, I think it probably will go to Kaprizov. He's, I mean, you look at the stats, he's kind of practically carried the Minnesota Wild. Um, I'm just being brutally honest. He's also kind of revived Zuccarello and um, Victor Rask's career by, I mean, just giving him assists and goals and, you know, feeding him everything he can. But yeah, all in all, he's playing well, and I think he will be a definite threat um, to the NHL in the coming years. Uh, Jordan Greenway for the Minnesota Wild also leads with 26 assists on that mark. Greenway has had a pretty good season on a pretty underrated team for Minnesota. And Cam Talbot, who coming in here, everyone was like, oh, that might not be very good because Talbot, we saw it in Edmonton and Calgary and Philadelphia, I guess. That because he did play a couple games in Philly, um, that he might be falling off a little bit. This could be a bit of a risky contract, and no, so far in the first year it's looked pretty good. Uh, two point sixty three goals against average. He's really kept it consistent, and I would also like to mention that Capo Kakinen, who could very well start um, the playoffs. I'm not too sure who will start in game one. Um, he's also been playing very good as well. So we're gonna see what happens in the goaltending there. But nonetheless, no matter who takes that net. I have a lot of faith in them. Uh, Vegas aside, Mark Stone, the captain, the first captain in Vegas Golden Knights history, he leads with 61 points. Stone, absolute character. He loves it in Vegas. I remember watching interviews of him um, with the team. He also has 40 assists, by the way. Um, I think he's going to stay in Vegas for probably the rest of his career, and he could probably win Vegas' Stanley Cup. So I think you got to watch out for Stone if you're the Minnesota Wild Blue Line. Uh, Max Pacioretty leads in goals with uh, 24, so I think that's a pretty good um, goal scoring range. They have a couple of 20 goal scorers, and I think you know they're pulling up more guys on the depth charts. That it's looking pretty faithful for the Vegas Golden Knights to make a cup run. So, you know, 24 goals. I mean, it is a shortened season. I I always look at these and I'm like, wait, Nashville had 33 points. That was their leading leader, and then I realized, oh yeah. Short in season. So, <laughs> anyways, um, the goaltending. Um, I have both. I have both goalies up here because I don't know who will start. Uh, Mark Andre Fleury with one point nine eight goals against average, and Robin Leonard with two point two nine goals against average. Um, both goalies have been great throughout the whole season. I know Leonard was out for a little bit, so it's Fleury, but both have been pretty dang good. And I, they, I think they won the William Jennings Trophy. I'm ninety nine percent sure. And on the um, the games, one before we get into the basic statistics, um, Minnesota actually won a couple games against Vegas. So everyone who is saying that um, 
Vegas is that Minnesota's a pretender and they're only good because of Kaprizov and that they're only winning and that they're only beating the good teams below the playoff line. I think just about every team was good against teams below the playoff line. But Minnesota has won five out of eight against Vegas. And I think that just goes to show that this series could be a bit more intense than people think. Vegas will have home ice advantage. Um, Minnesota, they're okay on the road. Um, look at the judging by their other statistics, they're eh, kind of middling on the road, but they're good at home. So I think nonetheless that this series will be very competitive, and I'm very excited to watch it. I also would like to point out how you know Vegas has all these underrated players. They have Shea Fedor, Alex Tuck. They have a bunch of players on that roster that I really think that they have so much death. It's just not even funny. And it's amazing how they've collected all this death um, throughout their entire existence. I've watched I've watched this team develop from what didn't look like a what looked like a bottom feeding team to a Stanley Cup playoff Stanley Cup final um, team. And I saw them as contenders. And I think that, you know, you may say, oh, their runs are lucky. Oh, it's because of. Um, they're, they're good management. They had a rig fantasy draft. I think this team has done pretty well. And a lot of these players who are on that roster right now aren't exactly, weren't exactly on the team um, when the expansion draft happened. Besides Flurry, every other team that's here was not a, um, was not on the actual roster um, after the, after the, after the expansion draft. So, yeah, let me know who you think is going to win down below. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, I'm very excited for this. I think that, um, hmm, I don't really know. I want to say Vegas, but I, I think Minnesota will at least make it close if Vegas wins. So thank you all for watching and for all your support. Uh, I cannot wait to watch these playoffs. First game is tomorrow. I have my pen and paper. I'm going to watch it. We're going to review it right after, and we're going to have some fun during these playoffs. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. For our support, and I will see you guys in the next video.